You can keep your countdown. We are live for the first ever Party Animals Dugout broadcast on YouTube. Drake Toll with you from Durham, North Carolina, otherwise known as Party Animals Territory. These guys have taken the first two games of this stretch after an offensive onslaught last night, and they're looking to do it during a darty today. What you're wondering is what in the world's going on. There's a Party Animals broadcast now. That's exactly what it is. This view is the first ever in sports, a dugout view of how these guys party for the two hours that we'll spend together in Banana Ball. You'll get player interaction. You'll get some chugging, I hear today. You'll even get tarps off if the animals sweep. Now, as for what you'll see on the screen, not just me, but also the live feed that displays the Bananas defense. Coach Rack in left field, of the ER Meadows in center, Reese Alexianas, that makes up the outfield. Left to right across the infield is Hosley, Cox, Olsen, and Crosby. Eric Jones Jr. will catch Ethan Scuje, the EH, Michael Deeb, the DH, Dan Oberst. To note the tour leader in trick plays, Ryan Cox stands off of shortstop. Rack in left field after taking last night off. Reese Alexianas back in right. And Scuje, the strikeout machine, who's over a thousand in his career is on the bump but that's not something that we have a uh, fine we'll talk about it 30.2 innings this season 451 mpi is okay he's allowed 30 hits in that span and 17 ball four sprints as you know in banana ball there are no walks he's a world-class professional athlete so why have a walk it's the most mundane thing you can do why not have a sprint he's dealt again 17 of those in 30 and two-thirds with his 587 ERA. 81 degrees, and more importantly, a UV of eight for the boys as the batting lineup attempts to stay red hot. It's Reese Hampton, Bryson Bloomer, Jake Stoll, and when one of them inevitably gets on, Dalton Cornett's out of the four hole today. Last night, it was 19 hits for the Animals. 14 runs and a 5-3 to three victory to take game two at this complex. And now, I guess it's time to start the clock. Start the clock! Which means this. It's yeah. Reese Hampton time! Welcome in, let's do it live! Hampton, the first one to the plate for the animals as we get going. On a dirty Sunday afternoon. Oh! Hampton, last year's leader in batting average on the tour. First pitch he gets straight up in the sky. Good. Over towards us, and Danny Hosley is able to collect the out. Do a trick play. A little mundane for my taste. Give us Bryson Bloomer into the right handed batter's box. Bloomer had two blasts last night. He's the only player in banana ball history to hit two home runs in the same game, and he has now done it two times in his career with the party animals. Bloomer also tied his own record with six RBI on the night. Last night was a stark dichotomy to the first night of the series where a pitcher's duel treated us to a two to You can't do that. And he hits him. Not only was it a balk, he, oh no, is he okay? Oh, no. Bloomer's gone down. Looks <laughs> like he, he's feeling woozy here. They tried this with Taj Porter yesterday, and it just didn't go very well. And once again, I don't look. I want to give the guy credit, but I don't know. I don't really know what we're doing there. An effort and attempt was made from Bryson Bloomer on the walk over to first base. And now it's Jake Skull, which, as you know, means that wherever you're located, even if you're driving a car, oh, it's time to bounce, baby. Ready, oh, bounce, bounce. Skull, the number 10 overall draft pick in 2010, the Texas Rangers. Spent years in the Rangers minor league system, made it up to Frisco. Played with guys like Josh Hamilton, Tanner Sheppers. Had a little uh, Dutch oven, Derek Holland and Matt Harrison in there. And come, baby, come, baby, baby, come, come. Skull the lefty means that Zach Blankenship will protect me from any foul ball trouble. We had a lot of issues with that night one when Michael Deep sent a hot shot over here. What a move, yeah. Zach, can you just 
you know, bodyguard. Yeah, right there. I got you. Yeah, thanks. One two pitch from Scooche. My skull gets a piece of it, stays alive in the AB. He had a couple of those hits in last night's 19. Animals struck in the first inning. Night one in Durham, night two in Durham. They got a chance to deal with Bloomer off first base. Thanks, Garrett. Steve Kellogg, thank you very much. A little hello in the first party animals YouTube broadcast. Skull into left. Rack is there. No attempt at a trick play. Boo. I'll leave this here for now. Yeah, you can leave another one. So I, I you can leave that there. Dalton Cornette. Hip us. Not a clue what the song means, but man, it's good. DC three of three twenty three average. Pride of Pippa passes Kentucky. Pico Scala be proud of that. One zero. -oh. Fouled out of the complex, off the hood of a white Nissan Maxima, Arkansas plates. Poor guy, poor girl. Good eye from Cornette, he's ahead 2-1. There's a sense of foul ball right at the Iron Horse of PAN, the Party Animals Network, Emerson Elmgren. Yeah, you like that? Pan, 2-2. Oh, come on, Vince. Got to have those. Just a tad high from Scoojay. 3-2. Cornette, deep right field. Alexianis at the wall. Just able to make the catch on the warning track is Alexianis. And that retires the party animals in the top of the first. The only noise they made was Bryce and Bloomer hit by pitch. You see that Cornette got almost all, but the wind is blowing straight in. What are you going to ask of the guy? Once again, welcome into the first one of a kind, the first of a kind dugout broadcast in sports. The table sits right here on the field. I can smell the grass where I'm sitting. I can smell Sean Fluke, the starting pitcher today for the party animals. As we give you the defensive alignment. Thomas in left, Hampton in center, and Stoll in right. That makes up the outfield. Left to right across the infield. Bloomer, Acuff, Baber, Swan. Dalton Cornett and his zero trick plays. Will catch for Sean Foot, who has one trick play. Jordan Hussein is your extra hitter. And no officials at DH today. Fluke. An active character, as you know, in Banana Ball. Former exterminator turned still an exterminator. He exterminates bananas in every one of these games. Has gone 29 and two thirds. Has a 5.46 ERA. Look at these. Only got nine strikeouts over the course of his nearly 30 innings pitch. Giving up 45 hits, 10 ball, four sprints as well. His fastball will top out at 83 miles per hour if he's feeling good. But he will mow you down. DR Meadows, Danny Osley, Dan Oberst, and Michael D. If any of the three are able to get on, they won't. It looks great for my angle. That's who leads things off for the bananas. Meadows, tour leader in batting average. Been red hot really up until this weekend. Thank you, Sean Fluke. Little 12 6 bender. Gives a giggle. Meadows is his arch nemesis of banana ball. His skull can go easy out. And retire Meadows on two pitches. Thank you, Sean. Danny Hosley, do it all. Another one of these micro rivalries with Sean Fluke. See everybody saying hello. In our Party Animals YouTube chat today as well. Great to know that the Darty is rolling on with animals fans across the country. That's been one of the best parts of Durham this weekend is seeing the way that these folks have shown out in the pink and black. Come on, Vince. Here we go, went down. One one. Hosley taps it behind home plate. Nice. Dalton Cornett. Nice. Oh, absolutely. Runs into the net, makes the catch. Fluke is at a minute and five seconds on this half inning as well. 
He could go sub 130 if he tags out Oberst quickly. Though Sean Fluke and quickly are two, two things that haven't gone too well together in many sentences. He doesn't hear the Plumer. Absolutely. Absolutely. Sean Fluke. Sub of minute and 30 in the half inning. And you know what? I thought, how could we treat everybody? I don't know. Just come say hi to me. You can, okay. Sure, you, you can do it. I was thinking earlier, how could I start off with a bang? You know, the first ever party animals dug out broadcast. And I think the only way to do it is if I if I chug a bang. Should it go off? Hey, should I? All right. Let's go. You in? Watch out! Right back to me! And now, the cast is ready, the players are ready, and I'm ready. Scooje is back out. Ugh. Ugh. 300 milligrams of caffeine straight into the veins. And sticky stuff everywhere. Not that, oh. Oh, dirty mind. Chase Aka. Why do they, this is just, they just point the camera at Coach Rack a lot here. It's a little bit too much for me. No. Steve Kellogg ready to pump it? Scooge throws just high. And it seems as though we're going to do a backflip competition between Rack and DR. There's one from Rack. Two, is this... Two from DR. Are they going consecutively? You know what? Fine, we'll show you this cat. Okay, Rack again. I just everybody here is confused. And in the meantime, Acom has worked himself a 2-1 count. Chase, hitters count. Gotta be a piece. You know what? I hate to give credit, but it is awfully impressive what these guys can do. I'm chasing, I'm chasing. Three one to Chase. Scooge, it's a foul tip it. I, how long are they going to go? One A B or a whole half inning? Chase loud foul into the net. No chance for a fan to catch it. Count is full. Scooge adding his first strike out of the game. Ballpark's gone silent. As does the bat of a cuff there. Strikeout number one. Brings up Tanner Chicken Tinder Thomas. Formerly known as Tanner Tinder Thomas, but due to his very poor use of the app and inability to effectively utilize it, Chicken Tender seems to have taken the place of the former Monica. Rack and DR are still going. Thomas, great call, Vince. Just in. Right off the mask of EJ. Vince gives him a second. It seems as though Rack is getting winded. DR looks pretty comfortable at 12 backflips apiece. Okay. Thomas works a 2 okay. 1. Tanner high into the day sky. Meadows is there. Chance for a whatever that was, and it doesn't work. I think I think he had done too many backflips in the half inning and decided how fun would it be to do one in game and just didn't. That's awesome. <laughs> Tanner Thomas stands at first base for Jordan Hussein. Houston native takes one low, and I, it seems as though this backflip competition has slowed down dramatically. Hussein to Hodsley, flip the second in time, back to first, no sir. Now it's Dustin Baby, the ginger ninja. And we're going to call it there. There's no way these guys do any more backflips. 
as you see the sweet swing of a Jordan Hussein. Oh. A butte, and he's off of first. Baber takes a ball outside. He's at 1 0. Dustin to left field. Chance for a fan to catch it. And it falls harmlessly off of a red brick building. <laughs> Rack with a pity backflip. 15 for him. Feet of athletic excellence. Swing and a miss from Baber. Buried himself at a 1 2 count. Fights a pitch. Flies behind the press box and off the bumper of a white Nissan Maxima Arkansas Plains. One, two. Here's an opportunity for the fans. This lands item. Dustin fighting. Tenth pitch of the at bat coming. A number that I made up. Hussein goes, play at second base. He is tagged out. We'll bring you to the bottom of the second inning. The party animals and bananas are tied at zero points apiece. And Garrett DeClue and Ryan Rodriguez asked for the first ever party animals broadcast on YouTube yeah. if they could come over and take the headsets for a half inning. Uh, what? One. Two, three. Wow! Out. Dinner Out. and a show. Thank you guys very much. Thank you. That's what you get from the Party Animals dugout broadcast. I want it that way. Players through the stadium. Durham Bulls Athletic Complex. Pretty little angel eyes. I wonder if they were referencing me. It's Bridges and Lealios in a classic sing-off. 10,000 of our closest friends belting. Ah! Had the time of my life, and I never felt this way before. I swear this is true. It's a moment with Tyler Gillum. Oh, it all to you. Oh, that's good. It's all tied up for the first base and third base side. Look at two. We go a little faster to do the banana ball thing. Michael Deeb comes up to the plate. I'm going to bring over Bronson Ball home. Somebody to protect. It's Steve that hit me with a foul ball a couple nights ago. Well, it just missed me. So I'm going to get real low. This time, he pops up in the left. Tanner Thomas easily collects it. Oh, there's that shot. That's not appropriate for children. Right in the middle of the crotch. On the first base side, Boo has won the sing-off. Tanning lotion, anyone? UV is seven today. That's not bad. Oh, one of these fancy bananas walk-ups. I think everyone just looks a little confused. <laughs> Hold on. Look at the crowd behind me. No one knows what's going on. Eric Jones Jr. Got himself a walk up. Okay. Jones. Face off against Sean Fluke. With one down and nobody on here at the bottom of the second. <laughs> My phone's overheated. Oh, EJ. 304, a cuff trick play. Yep, absolutely. Count it. Chase Acuff spins it around. 
and sets them down. Oh, what a replay. Look, Josh Tulevsky. That guy's soul is happy. Between the legs. Oh! And the 68 mile an hour bender. The, si <laughs> the 61 mile an hour bender. Sean Fluke is toying with Reese Alexiades. The worst of the two Reese's. Oh, just pepper it by him. Oh, that's good. A ball and two strikes, the Pioneer League Player of the Year. Just a bit high from Fluke. Reese, A cup, bounces, throw to first. Oh, yeah. Whose house? Sean Fluke. <laughs> Sean Fluke's house. He looks over at Tyler Gillum and says, you like that? Do you like that? Chase Acuff. We're playing basketball. We love that basketball. Drew Gillespie, you want to do me a solid and rate this player dance? Dude, Ziggy on the right, second to the right, just looks confused every time he does one of these. I'm the hard side so far. Ziggy? He's thinking about every move. Also, the fact they put Maceo right in front of him just doesn't help. No. Dude. I like that. That's a good one. Yeah, no. What are they? Oh, did they? Did they even practice this? I think they're just imitating each other. Oh, uh, they're following Macy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not working out too well for Nisnik either. The effort, I feel like, is there. I think I just might be the whole gist. Like you know, it might be a surprise. Like little, let's see what you guys got. I like it. Why? It's Why a, would you like it? It's raw. It's raw. Yeah, it's good. Shows everybody they can dance because they just want to have fun, you know? Have you ever done one of those? I don't know. I don't usually see you out there at the player dance. I, I pop in from time to time. You never know. Uh, that doesn't feel appropriate. All right. I think there's a redemption arc here. It got better toward the end. The Bananas play. How about A-Cup already? We got two or three? Two for A-Cup right two? there. Two? Yeah. All right. I Between like the legs. Bounces. Now Dustin Baber. To the play. You want to do what? Split. Yeah, I was do wondering it? why my... Oh. Yeah. What Take your bike and shove it. Oh. Yeah. Oh. First in. pitch, Baber gets some scoot jack. In there. Fastball in. He's going to go slider here. Yep. Great call. Go back fastball up. The sixth ball that Baber sent out of the park. Just the opposite direction of where it... That's four points in cricket, probably. I don't even know what that means. Uh, you do it again? That's probably not. Four is when it hits the barrier in cricket. Yeah, no clue what that means. I think. Producer Pimp, can I get a little bit more Drew Gillespie, please? Oh, okay. Yeah, see, there's the, there's the oh, he wants you to put the mic closer to your mouth. Idiot. Oh, that's on me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Favorite. look at that. Does he get a double? No, past the diving glove of Hosley. Does he get a double? Oh, he do oh my goodness. He's shooting for it. Oh, this will be tight. Oh! Hey! That's loud. That got loud. Baber's in safely. Sorry. Sorry, folks. Dustin Baber to second base. Noah Fisher to the plate. Party animals cooking with a runner in scoring position now. Look, he just passed Hosley. Good Great. piece of hitting. Great piece of hitting. Got out in front of Why the did you move the microphone further away from your mouth? Because we just screamed in it. Did you not hear that? That's did fine. I, right. I love when you scream. All not right, in okay. like a weird way. What do we got? A 3 2 2 in the middle of a donut batter right here? Donut batter, Noah Fisher, and yes, a 3 2 2. Uh oh. So what do we do? Uh, I think everyone's. Oh, oh, oh there we go. Okay. Off to a good start. This one feels I got a base simple. Hit. I got a base hit. But you can't jump up in front of the mound like that. No. What are we doing? A cuff to right. Tough play for Lexi. Oh, it's down for a hit. It drops for a hit. Look at that. Baber into third base. They're on the corners now for the animals. Hey, pitch from the rubber. Let's go. Scoot Jay did a crow hop. Crow hop. The crow hop. Also, I just realized Sorry, this folks. is a real good little crotch action going on here. Oh, uh, should we bend down? Yeah, I'm actually just kind of protective. This, uh, the one piece shrunk in the washer. Try oh. the crow hop again! 
Have we ever had a brawl in Banana Ball? Uh, no. Can we? Uh, I think there was like one close last year in Oklahoma City, but I, I think it's one of those we just don't really mention much. Foul territory. Crosby's there. We got that's one out on the inning. Yeah, that's only one out. Okay, I like it. We got. Do you think Reese Hampton buns here? Oh, Ultimate oh, sacrifice. It's yeah. So easy. Get yeah. thrown out of the game for a uh, sec bunt. Do it. Do it. I can see you not doing it. I'm not it. a man that likes to call things, but I'm gonna go homer here. Slide into. It. Oh, second base safely. That was 15 balls up. I got a homer here. Okay. Right over the Bull City over there in right field. You're on the mic for it. Sean Fluke was, he grabbed the headset yesterday when Bloomer went blast. I'd love to hear that. 2 0. Yeah, we'll take a walk here and get Party Rock going. Oh, yeah. I, but I'd, rather, I'd rather have a home run. Me too. Oh, that was the swing. Fastball, middle, middle. Yeah. So if you go slider here, he's in trouble. I would double up there, even though I got a swing. That's what he does. I cut out. That was a little arm side run, yeah. Hitters count. It's a fastball great. slider here. Which one? He's going back to fastball on 3 1. Uh -uh. I couldn't tell on that one, to be honest. Tough angle. Slider. Cool. That was an off speed for sure. You've seen the game. 3 2. 3 2, 1 out. Payoff pitch from Scoojay. With two in scoring position. Oh, and he snap hooks that. That's a really good cricket shot. Count remains 3 2. Animals can score the first run of the game here. To balk. To balk. Oh, we're all right. Kyle was in the middle of the field. Gentlemen's game. There we go. Hampton, ball four sprint. Two come home for the party animals. Take your happy at butt to there home play. Party rock. The animals are on the board on the four ball sprint. And it's time to shake that. One, two, one, two. I think I'm a little off. <laughs> I think I'm a little off. But that's not gonna stop me. One, two, three, four. One, two, two. Ooh. Yes, 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 yes. The guys are party rocking in Durham, North Carolina. Now, oh, shh. we're doing a fun walk up for the party animals. Don't say anything. Quiet. Time. Let's get it down to Val. I think his mic's off. I'll tell you what. I think his mic was off. So that, uh, put the damper on things tell you what that would rock if you're able to hear it trust me little Kansas dust in the wind who's singing is that Vava oh my gosh are you kidding me that's not strike Baba! You're my boy, Blue! Stop! Stop! Oh no, and Bloomer strikes out. Kansas, dust in the wind. That is the final out of the top of the third. We will take you to the bottom half of the inning. And I don't, I mean, there's just very few words for whatever we just saw from Mike Vababa Basis and company. As the banana band comes out, we say hello once again. Party Animals score two runs in the top half of the third inning. If Sean Fluke can hold the bananas at bay here, the Animals can take a one to nothing lead. The party has not trailed in Durham. And the goal today, hey, producer Pimp, where did my sheet go? Oh, it flew away. All right. The goal today, uh, they have a trail the whole week, and the goal today is to keep it that way.
Two to one, night one finish. Five to three last night. Two and oh on the weekend. That's a whole lot of numbers throw at you. One thing that I will note that is crazy to me, party animals are 10 and eight outside of Savannah. Away from the hostess city, these guys rake. But put them in Grayson Stadium, and they just can't do it. Sitting at 12 and 14 overall, two and six back home. Throw down from Dalton Cornett. And Sean Fluke is on the mic with the guys upstairs. And where the street is after he gets three up, three down, he'll come over and be on the mic with me. 246 average this year from Rack, Robert Anthony Cruz. The lefty could foul one here at any moment. Luke starts him off 0 1. Rack to left center. Hampton is there. Got it. He retires Rack. One up and one down to start the bottom half of the third inning. Brandon Showtime Crosby now. 156 for the rookie. Another guy that, you know, first year guys, you got to adjust to the speed of the game. That's probably the toughest thing there is to do here. Blue, behind 2-0. Oh, it's right there. Flu can't get the call. Quick trip to Vincent. Crosby shows bunt. And strike is the call. They can tag out Crosby. That's exactly what happens. Crosby elected to steal first base. He kept going. He kept going and then was thrown out there. Strike was the call from Vince. And now there are two down. Chapman almost made the out. Oh one to Tick Tock Star Jackson. Olsen up the middle and past the diving glove of Chase Acuff. He's got the Bananas' first base hit of the game. Now Ryan Cox. They don't call him the Bat Magician. Out of the 10 hole. Luke. Check Olsen. Put your hands up in the air. Put your hands up in the air. Cox, center field. Hampton behind the back, and he goes, oh, dropped it. Hampton just can't corral. Would have had the no look. And now the tying run of the inning is on first. The go-ahead, the point securing, is at the plate in DR Meadows. Yep. Fluke against the one hole. Oh, a little curveball. Drops it in DR's lap. 1994. Meadows to Hampton in center. Yes, sir. That secures the out and the point for the party animals. Animals win the inning. And it is one point to zero. Party ahead. Sean Fluke, let's mic you up, my friend. Fluke, uh, how you feeling so far? Okay, take your time with the headset. Hey. Oh, hey, we're back. We're back. We're double mic'd up. We got one in my ear. We got a headset on. You know, we're just absolutely cruising out there. It's the easiest day of my life. Honestly, the sun is the worst battle for me today. Being really? A ginger. Yeah. 
But uh, remember back in the day when you gave me an ice in that uh, pregame thing? I did ice training? you? Well, I just want to let you know that we have one right there for you. Oh, wait. Yep, I brought it special. The table. Yep, I left it under there for you. Look, yeah, this is a pint. Yes, and I got you the extra this large isn't a pint. size. No, this, is a, this is a liter. That's a full liter, bud. I Dude, want you, you can't, to back that's up. That's not fair. I want you to get down on the knee like a grown man. Yep. Throw the chair. And you better throw this thing back. Open up that throat, boy. And if you don't want to finish it all, I will gladly take a sip because I am thirsty. Keep going, baby. Come on. Oh, my goodness. You call your – well, one That's more. That's not good, is That's it? That's not even halfway. Come on, boy. If you want to be a party animals announcer, oh, my goodness. And that's what you're going to do. That is unbelievable. That is just not okay to be on this side. Yes, you drink that right now, boy. You had a boy. Good, 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 good. All right, I'll take this. It was delicious. I've got a game to broadcast. That's a whole. <laughs> oh, that is delicious. Absolutely delicious. Tastes like some of the uh, alcohol beverages I had last night. That's good stuff. Sean, cheers. I'll give you a C minus. Thanks. That's all I need. Oh, look, it's me. Hug, hug. It's all over the new coat. I had a large breakfast. <laughs> uh, it's all over the new coat. We have to take a bus home tonight. <laughs> I can't. I have Jake Skull to write to Alexianis. Come, baby, come, baby, baby. I have, you know. I already. We went out last night. That was the last thing I needed today. I can't even see straight now. Poor performance on my part. I just got out of college, too. I've got to be better than that. That's on me. <laughs> I think the spin. I think the, the, the spew right at him, the producer, was a uh, was a great touch. That's good. Vincent Chapman busted down in the top of the fourth. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, that's great. Chapman. It does taste pretty good. It was cold too. You can't chug things cold. 01 to DC3. Way up. Very sticky. Brendan Wong says, I've never seen a size that big. Which, out of context, is great, by the way. <laughs> and in context was awful for me. What is this? That's cheating. I think I was overwhelmed by the size of the glass. The left. Rack is there. Do a trick play. Last night I had to clean whipped cream all over my, all off my, uh, my headset. Tonight it's going to be ice. <laughs> Turn up the radio. Blast your stereo. Chase uh, Acuff, it's in my nostrils. Takes ball one for me to scooge at Scooge. Bends one in his lap. 1-1 one, one low. Dana gives me a D plus. Thank you. I don't even know if I give myself a D plus. I was overwhelmed by the girth of this thing. Eric Jones Jr., does he have room? No, it bounces off the net. Oh, I spit alcoholic beverage all over the, all over the production equipment. All right. Full count to Chase. Let's see if we can deal with the ball for sprint. Scoo Jay. What's up? It's just tapped. 
Leanne says, overwhelmed by the girth. Put it on a t-shirt. <laughs> Make up, up the middle, base hit. Jason at first, Tanner Chicken Tinder Thomas at the dish, the lefty. Might I say, too, the dirt here at Durham Bulls Athletic Stadium Complex thing, quite stingy for the old knee. There were a lot of, a lot of elements working against me. Duo. Tanner pops up in the left. Cox couldn't see it. Rack had a beat on it. And he collects it. All right. Oh, geez. Everything around me is sticky. All right, folks. Let's do what you know how to do. What I know how to do. Whether you're on your living room. You come right here, and I think kind of the goal is what we're riding the bull over there very well for you. Interesting, Matt Wolf, otherwise known as Matt, Ooh. releases the bull, and what a walk up this is. Danny Hosley wearing a blow up bull on the bottom half. Steps into the right handed batter's box. That's come on, that's a good pitch. Luke, unless it's a pop up high in the sky. Hey, Pam's here. Pam, you wait everybody at home. That's my friend Pam. Uh, Pam, we, we can have you do it, whatever you want. The top of the next inning, when the bananas come out to pitch, we're gonna we can mic you up with the guys. We can, I hear you're a pretty good heckler, so hey, you know what, Pam? Here, put this headset on. <laughs> Pam's a big party animals fan. I heard back in high school they called you Pam the party animal. I they did. Okay. It was at Pamela and my ding dong. <laughs> Pam, I want you to do me a favor. I want you to bend down real low here. Okay. This guy is very good at hitting foul balls okay. right into this area. Okay. Uh, Pam, so how this is going to work, I think. Can you put the mic a little bit closer? Now we okay. can hear you fully. How this is going to work 
is uh, we're going to have you mic'd up with Ethan Scoojay or Andy Archer or whoever comes out to pitch, and I want you to heckle them. Okay. So what, I, what I'll do is this guy right here, producer Nick, is going to give you some AirPods. You can use the AirPods to Andy Archer, and okay. we'll have you all set up. So, him, for Hi. now, I'll see you here in a second. Okay. But that guy right there is going to take you right where you need to go. The one in the blue? Yeah. All right. It's like a big blueberry. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Pam. Thanks. You go ch chase him down. Chase okay. him down. Now it's Michael Vitamin D, who is walking on. Gosh dang it, I'm sorry, guys. I, I just got to, I keep forgetting about the crotch stuff. Deep. Fouls one straight back. Luckily, not fouled over toward me. Get real crouched down. And Sean Fluke has ditched the shirt. Oh. If he can get the classic strikeout, we'll get the classic belly pat. No, he doesn't really strike guys out very much. And he doesn't here, but Reese Hampton, an opportunity in center field. They don't get too much easier than that. I will, uh, I'll give you a, a, a hint for what you can expect later in the game. The bananas win, or the party animals win, that is. After a sweep, you get tarps off. Now let's send it to the field. Really? <laughs> without a permanent home. To help raise awareness and bring families together, we created a nonprofit called Bananas Foster. This organization is dedicated to celebrating those who are already making a difference in the foster care world while educating and inspiring others to get involved. Today, Bananas Foster is celebrating Kayla DeWald, who has been licensed since 2022. In the last two years, Kayla has welcomed 12 kiddos into her home. Her most recent placement came to her at just 10 days old. And when reunification with her biological family wasn't an option, Kayla was asked to adopt her. On Friday, just two days ago, Kayla was at the courthouse making the adoption official. Fans, please help me welcome to the field Kayla and the newest member of the DeWald family. As always, a spectacular presentation. Both of the teams went out to the Duval family to show their support. For folks who have given so much to the Durham, North Carolina community and have helped out in foster care and fostering kids, as we know that across the country there is a great need for more families to volunteer and help, and you can help at bananasfoster.com, the nonprofit of both the bananas and the party animals, and something great that both of these teams can get behind and all celebrate with. Pam's back. All right, Pam, so here's what I need from you. Give me a little one, two, one, two mic check. One, two mic check. Okay, Pam, okay. now take that microphone and pull it as far from your mouth as possible. Right there. Okay. Now yell as loud as you can. Ah! Yeah, absolutely. Right. Pam, yeah. I need, we're gonna we're testing this out. Can you be the best heckler? Also, you need spray tan lotion for you. There, yeah, Pam, you just load up. Oh, did you go to the face there? <laughs> Pam, not the first time Pam put suntan lotion on. Watch out. All right. So, Pam, we're going to test this out for a couple batters. I want to hear your very best Andy Archer chirps. So, he's going to struggle to hear you, but you've got free reign. And over the course of the season, we're going to figure out who the best heckler in Banana Land is. So, I want you, as loud as you can yell, to give that guy your darndest as soon as he goes out there. And, and nothing really is off limits here. Pam, fire your first. <laughs> what? One more time. Louder, Pam. He can't hear you. 
He's gonna get re gift you the next bath bomb. He's gonna what? Re gift you the next bath bomb. Louder, Pam, louder! He's gonna re gift you the next bath bomb. Yeah, you tell him. All right, give me another one, a mean one. Yoko Ono's got better pitch than you. No, yeah. not that you didn't. Why did you go after Yoko Ono? I know. Take it astray on the broadcast. Like a, I need to take it back. I need to take it back. <laughs> Damn. One more time with the people. The, one more of the Yoko Ono. Loud. What are you doing? Oh, you want to do the Yoko Yeah, I like that one a lot, actually. Yoko Ono's got better pitch than you. Yeah, you take that, Andy Archer. He's got the, he's got one AirPod in. He can hear you, but he's trying not to react. Right? Oh, okay. Are you I'm feel good. bad now? Don't yeah, feel bad that he can hear you. <laughs> he's got an AirPod in the left ear. He doesn't know where you are, where it's coming from, though. You oh, good, good. You've rattled him. I did. <laughs> he can I did. I can see it. <laughs> he, threw, he threw that ball because you. All right, what else we got, Pam? Let's see. Let me see. Let me see. I, I'm so you impressed that like you wrote these out. I did because I was very nervous. <laughs> because I knew that when I came out here, I wouldn't be able to think. So I went ahead and typed them up. Nailed it to this point. Yeah. They just call them fat, Pam. You tell them. You can fill a closet with all those hangers. Yeah. yeah. A closet? <laughs> Pam, it's pronounced closet. Closet. Damn. Closet. Okay. I think you're making fun of my accent. No, I'm not. Maybe just a little. Pam, I'm from Arkansas. This is oh. how we we all we've been there. <laughs> uh, yeah, give me the, just call that one time so we get on camera. Okay. You're fat <laughs> and ugly. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, it's a stolen base. The, I didn't even know where Eric Jones is throwing the ball. Fat and ugly. Fat and ugly. You take that. You all take right, that. Pam. One last heckle. This is gonna be your best one. Okay. So you can be in the running for ah ball four sprint. Party animals gonna score a run. Last one, Pam. Give it you to got, him. That's more junk than Fred Sanford. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Pam up top. You yeah. just won the party animals a run. Pam, thank you very yes. much. Thank you. Unbelievably done. Thanks. That was Pam. We'll send you to the plate as it seems as though the master. Oh, Pam, thank you. That was spectacular. You go party. Oh, yeah, let's get a picture. Looks like uh, there's a little master celebration going on at the plate as well. There we go. That's awesome. That's so good. <laughs> oh. And the Masters music, the green jacket for Jordan Hussein. Just spectacular stuff. <laughs> it gets the handshake from Jake Skull. Oh, it's sweet. Jordan Hussein, Masters winner. You guys hear the news about OJ? I just felt like, you know, been in, it's been in the news this week. I think Scotty Scheffler was ahead last I saw. Homo was doing all right for a bit. That's Noah Fisher. Fish, the runner still at first base. Noah is the Dunkin' Donut hitter of the game. Boy, that leader of ice catching up to you. No nuts. No nuts. Fish. He fouled it off his ankle. No nuts. No nuts. Carol Ozzy says, I love it, Jordan. That's good stuff. That's good. Ben's Obscure Games. Let's enter the YouTube chat as well to say that polite and respectful don't belong in a party animal's repertoire. And I think you're exactly right. And donuts don't belong here either. First base for Noah Fisher on the sprint. Bronson ball home at third. And I cannot get over Pam, man. Producer Pimp, that was great. What a great bit. Archer had the, the AirPod in the left ear, too. You can see him trying. I don't, here's the problem with the heckler. Our first ever fan heckler. 
and the dude can't throw a strike now. Do I get fired for that? More jump than Fred Sanford. So call me the gangster of love. Archer. Nice contact from Swan. But within the reach of Alexiades. That'll keep him at first and third. And now, everybody does it. Reese him. Do it! Keep, keep the darty in. going. I can see you not doing it! <laughs> Zach Blankenship can see people not doing it. That's never advised. Half in a lefty. Into a duck and hide. Puts a little pepper into it. But Reese Alexiades is there. And oh no! He just spiked the ball. Bronson ball home tags up from third. No need for a throw. Party Animals have scored their second run of the top of the fifth. Fourth run of the game, leading it one point to zero. It has been a hot weekend in Durham for the guys in black and pink, and that has not stopped. Bloomer, hard foul ball into the bullpen. S-I-M-P, squirrels in my pants. Chiefs fan edit says go bananas. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. LA007 says more Pam. That's good. Uh, Brendan says bring back Pam. Chat is aggressively requesting more Pam. And I absolutely get why. Way to the field. Let's take you to the field, too. Unknown. Young Professor. He is the mother clocker. Yeah. I feel like that's an innuendo for something. Okay, producer Pimp, that's all I wanted to say. He is B C E Big Chick Energy. Knife edge chop from BCE. The clucker misses. Big Chuck takes him down, and BC has the offensive advantage. Looking up, looking like he's going for a vertical suplex. I don't really, I don't, okay, I don't really know what's going on. The young professor, homage to his wrestling days, and is that it? That's it, right? We can't. No, no. Don't stop. Not the table. The mother cluckers. Oh no. <laughs> What's happening? Sean Fluke just wants to pitch. Just let Sean Fluke pitch. Oh no. I don't know if our insurance can cover that. I really hope they signed waivers. Oh, those chicks went at it. Hope everybody. Speaking of, we were hanging out at the Duke bars last night. Worst, one of the worst places that I've ever been. I just wanted a couple of Miller Lights. Is all I was asking for. Sorry, Michelob's. That's what they had, thankfully. And no. Josh and Pico for you. And a little Avery. Eric Jones Jr., 304 average. Avery, can you bring me more people to make sure I don't get hit? They have none of them have protected me. I'm out to dry today. See, that fluke has three innings with less than 10 pitches. Six, nine. Those two numbers were placed together strategically. 
and seven. He can throw up a chicken egg. Get it? Pun. Here. Party animals go up to nothing. I kind of miss Pam, too. She rocked. Fluke, ball four sprint. Mr. Jones parks at first base. But that ball four sprint just means that a double play is now in order. And it's gone silent at the ballpark. Oh, now it's YMCA. All right. Superman Alexiotis. Josh Zalewski told me I'm fired if I didn't tell you he's the Pioneer League Player of the Year. And now a Savannah Banana. What a wonderful name. Jordan Hussein. What are you wearing there, Captain? What do you got on right now? It's my master's jacket. You just put that microphone right in your mouth. Yeah. No, you're supposed to. That's what I'm asking you to. There we go. What? It's my master's jacket. Um, I felt like the place we went last night, people were just, you know, just bumping you and stuff. I got drinks spilled on me. Like, what are we doing here? I think I had three drinks spilled on three? me. Three? Three. Three? Three. Not one, not two, but three. It was just not a great experience. Like, I usually, when we all hang out together, I like to have a good, happy, fun time. Exactly. And the other people around us made it not that way. Last night wasn't the best night no. for the party animals. Um, how do you... How do you describe what we've seen in Durham so far? Because I feel like of the crowds we've gotten this year, this, especially last night, these folks have been pretty juiced. Juiceful, to say the least. Uh, I knew as soon as we got here day one, I looked at this park, I knew it was going to be a fun park. Nice park. Uh, this is a really pretty park, and the fans showed up for sure. All three days, they showed up. So, Big golf guy? Uh, yeah. Actually? Actually, that was the first time I've ever putted. So. Oh, really? Yeah. So you're not a big golf guy. Not a big golf guy, but, you know, winners win, you know? Can you name a single person who's in the leaderboard for the Masters? Oh, uh, yeah. Roy McElroy. Nope. All right. No stop. Jordan is saying thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> the handshake at the end. Ball four sprint. Flash the kid. Scores one of his more mundane. Oh, there you go. More mundane runs of the year. That's the first one to come across from Banana. Plural. And the Bat Boy. On cue. Runs out. Saves the day. Six year old Andrew. Cute kid, wrong team. Now it is Rack. Connor! I just right here. You know? Yeah, you can just stand in front of me and make sure Rack does it. Yeah. Here's the problem is if, if Rack does it a very sharp foul ball over here. Connor's not going to block it. I have a very, I have a great feeling that he's just going to get out of the way. Oh. Instead, fair ball. Oh. No, no, no. Fair foul there. What we Absolutely fair. As fair as they come. Flukes chirp in the first base umpire. Oh, with a big smile. One one for Rack. As long as you don't throw him a fastball, you should be okay. Yep. High, foul territory, chance for a fan, he drops it. Old buddy booted the ball. Bring your glove next time. Fluke points at him, he's screaming at him. Fluke is letting him have it. Sean Fluke, same man who brought the leader of ice over. Just taps it. One, two. Now my computer overheated. How are we gonna find the chat? Robert Anthony Cruz, foul ball. Thank you. Save him, butter, says Leanne. This is the great part about the party on alternate broadcast. It's not me used to play golf, just not well. Lizzie is small and a wimp, but would block a foul ball for me. Puts Lizzie in a very exclusive category. Ducktails. 
the end, says Drake's buzzing. Maybe. Nice contact in the center. Hampton can't get to it. It's a single for Rack. Fastball flakes in party animal land. The chat finds you. I think it's a very good way to put it. Noah Fisher. Skateboards. He was a skater boy? Did, did she say you? See, see you later, later boy? boy? I, I think so. Nailed it. Um, how does it feel? <laughs> right across me. Just wasn't quite close on that one. <laughs> Next subject. <laughs> um, the party animals are doing the pop-up. Pop-up, mine. Jason Swan. See you, Poppy. Dana's dugout. Easily. See you, Poppy. Um, how does it feel to party? You know what? I would not. Did you do karaoke the other night? Where? Uh, at the, the distillery place. I did not, no. You never no. did karaoke? Oh, yeah. I, I enjoy good karaoke. Um, your man, Josh Turner, absolutely light it up. That's yeah. your one? Hey, would you just keep the microphone on and just stand right in front of me, please? You just come around. Yep, you just, you just yep. I will be your protector. Just stand right there. What I'll be he, like, what did he do? Did he get a hit? He did get a hit, yeah. Oh, no, are they yes. going to send Lexiotis? I don't believe so. Good, he would have I believe that they're going to... Hold him up. Keep the horse in the stable, as they say. As they say. That's not a very, that's not a usual Tyler Gillum move. I know, right? Usually a, an aggressive man. They call him Big Send Tyler Gillum for a reason. Is that what they call him? No. Okay. Now it's Ryan Cox. Ten-hole hitter. Cox? They call him the glove magician, not the bat magician. Get it? Who <laughs> 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 just misses. You know Sean's had uh, three innings of ten pitches or less? He's an absolute, Isn't that good? He's an electric factory. Fastball 83, and he gets himself out of the jam. Oh, no. Wait a second. Wait a second. So with one down and the base is loaded, there's a throw to home plate. Cornette stays. I speak Spanish to Ryan, he has no idea what I'm saying. I'm like, Ryan, what are you doing? The ruling is out. Absolutely. You called it, Fish. See, Bobby. The party animals were successful on two challenges yesterday, and all three went their way. Today, the first one successful for Mike Bob Abavasis. DR Meadows, though. Hey, here's what's tough DR, with a base hit, will likely walk off the inning. But if Luke can get him out, the party animals go up two to one. How fun is that? Or two to nothing. Even better. That sounds like good, clean fun to me, honestly. Good, clean, family-friendly party. Good, clean, family fun. Well, they got him a country boy, honestly. Oh, one? Well, that's not very fun. Hampton? Oh, he boots it. Olsen comes around to score. Noah Fisher, thank you very much. Best Hampton could have done was catch it on the hop and fire it in to keep Olsen at third base or hopefully get him out at home. Instead, cart before the horse got him. The bananas score. Now they're run celebrating. They're chasing Jordan Hussein, it seems, who is still in his green jacket. And they have finally reached him. I don't really know what that was.
It is now one to one. Three runs came across for the Bananas in the bottom of the fifth inning. That wasn't the plan for Sean Fluke. But it means that we have a brand new ball game as we go to the top of the sixth. If you are just joining us, there is um, sticky remnants of alcoholic beverage all over both our table, the headsets, even our producer has a bit on the skin. As we recap the day here in Durham, the party animals took a one to nothing lead in the third inning when they put up two runs in the top frame. They also put up two runs in the top of the fifth but gave up three in the bottom half of the inning, making the score one point to one. If this, this is the first time you have watched a banana ball game, boy, they've got a lot of catching up to do. The fan catches the foul ball, it's an out. Ball four is a sprint. Every inning counts. So while the Bananas have scored three runs, the Party Elms have scored four, the score is tied. You say how? And I say banana ball. And I also say bounce. Jake Skoll to the plate. <laughs> Two of me. Ah, ah. Less of that. Jeez. Producer Pimp, you gotta warn me next time of the jump scares. Stop! Get to the game already. Jake Skull taps one. Oh, they call that fair. Skull breaks the bat, heads to the dugout. And now it's Dalton Cornett, DC3. Not where Jake Skull wanted to put it. Oh, Into left field. Does Rack have room? Somehow, yes. That really stinks. Now Chase Acuff. Turn up the radio. Blast the stereo. Acuff, foul. No action to the bullpen of the party animals. A wild Matt Wolf warming up with the bananas. Strike three for Acuff. Sends us to the bottom of the sixth inning. We're still tied at a point apiece. Party animals couldn't scratch anything across. And the young professor on the field here with a couple of K clubbers. And you can't see it, but I can. I am entranced. Down to the young in the ditch. And I've got Greg. And how long have you guys been married? We've been married seven years. Yeah, All right, yeah. So you guys have done a lot of chores in yeah, your time, yeah. and we're going to see which of them is able to clean the dish a little bit better. Yeah, uh, how right. about ladies first? Kate, would you like to uh, be the first to clean the dish? Let's see what you got, girl. Here we go. I don't think it's very clean, but those moves look clean. Oh, she's feeling it. Oh, there we go. A little extra cleaning. You missed the spot. All right. That's Kate. That was a moderately clean dish. All right, Greg, let's see. Uh, maybe you're the dishwasher in the house. I guess we find out. Here we go. Definitely the winner there. Dalton Potts will pitch. Toss the pill, if you will. Ten and a third this season. Facing Gabe Howell. Howell. 
take a ball low. Gabe. Something out with us the last couple of nights. <clears throat> cool dude. Two words I'd use to describe him. He's both of those things. He was also out hanging out with some of the Duke students and crowds. And, oh, why not? A little pong out in the outfield. Swing and a miss. I just feel like it wasn't good. I just, there were a lot of people there, and they were not. There was no etiquette. There was no out and about etiquette. Ponce, confused over something, says, it's fine, I'll pitch anyway. Dalton. It's hard contact. Howl. Arounds first. Arounds first. Huh. And he's into second. Hampton was over there playing Pong. In right center with Skull. And now Howl represents the winning run of the inning. He's at second base with nobody out here at the bottom of the sixth. Dan Oberst takes a strike. 6-2-2 time, 6-2-2 time. Oh. Yeah, Dalton Potts, of course he's going to nail that. And the pitch. Come on, Ben's got to have those. Skull is done with the table. 1-1. One, one. Oh, baby, fooled him. Oberst chase. A ball and two strikes. Potts can't find the zone. Come on, Dalton. Strike him out. Instead, pop up on the infield. Swan retires. And now it brings up the infamous Michael Deeb. The guy who has hit two foul balls in this direction this weekend. He's gotten very good at the hitting foul balls right at my table. So in preparation, we take cover. Deeb with the jersey clad in signatures. Ponce with consecutive strikeouts. An interesting way to say strikeouts. He tried to strand a runner at second base. Reminds me when Pam said close it instead of closet. If you guys did not meet Pam earlier, you are missing out. Deeb. On the 2-0 from Ponce. Dalton's now a pitch away from losing him and losing the inning. You got it. Come on, Dalton. The 3-0 from Ponce. Just put a fastball middle-middle for me. Instead, he bounces it. And that will win the inning for the Bananas. Your new score is 2-1. The Bananas lead the party animals. And now they get to do a fun little celebration. I can't really tell what's happening. Feels like the crowd also can't really tell what's happening. Uh, Malachi Mitchell is bent down. He is not mouthing the words to the song. What was that? Is that what entertains you? Why was that? I give up. I don't understand. Now it's time to meet the trick pitcher of Banana Land, Matt Wolf, who also is my dad's favorite player out here. He doesn't, he loves the party animals, of course, but his favorite guy, and you, it's tough to, it's, it's tough to go against, is Matt Wolf. 
who does a backflip off the barrel. Is that Bonnie Tyler? Uh, Olivia Newton-John? Oh, Hart? I guess. Those are all the same thing. Christian Dearman? What's up, brother? Tuesday, Tuesday? James Carter says result prediction. I think the party animals win. Hey, and there's a good way to start it. boy. Dan or Tinder Thomas, a base hit. Jake Lealio says he owns Matt Wolf. That's good. Emily Lowry says, glad you're putting on sunscreen. Hey, Emily, sorry, joke's on you. I'm not. Tanning oil. Burn me to a crisp here. You be six, though. I've had worse. Those six is a lot in some categories. April Toll says, love you, Drakey. Can only imagine there's got to be some sort of relation. Yeah! Base hit for the left side from Jordan Hussein. Our joke says, Doug, like you've got like seven bottles hidden under the table. Maybe you got a point. Cheers, my friend. Speaking of bottles, Dustin Baber. Oh, a pint. He's got like a half pint today. That thing's barely full. <laughs> you could have drank some of mine from the leader that Sean Fluke forced me into earlier. Downs it. Eric Jones Jr. plays along just a bit. Baber, who owns 11 runs this year, 12 RBI can make it 13 or 14 or even 15 with his first home run in banana ball this season. Producer Pimp, can I get a little bit more of the crowd, please? It seems as though they're becoming a bit lively this afternoon. Yes. Wolf through the legs and behind Baber. Baber looks at Vince and says, I think it hit me. And Vince says, nothing. Dustin's way ahead. And he works the ball for a sprint. Here comes Tanner Thomas. The home plate, Jordan Hussein is held up at third. Tinder scores without a throw, and the party animals have plated a run in the top half of the seventh inning. What a response. The boys in black. And Matt Wolf has still not collected it out. What do you have planned for us here? All quiet. Yeah, pony budget. No! No! A little wedding night action? Don't do the teeth. Don't do the teeth. Wow. Five million views. Five million views. Unreal. Somebody throw the bouquet. That off the sweaty thigh of Garrett Delano. That's insane. Noah Fisher, the rookie, who's one for one and has a ball for sprint. Graces the right-handed batter's box. And takes a strike from Wolf at 86. Wolf a little behind the back. Spins off the rubber, and puts one off the windshield of a white Nissan Maxima Arkansas plates in the parking lot. Wolf spins around and tag. You're it. Caught Fisher, who's oh no, he's going toward third. He's he's going toward third. All right, Mike Bob Avavacious is there to turn him back around. Thankfully, Vince is not going to call him for being out of the baseline. 
Fisher at first. It's Ball home at second and Hussein off of third. Timers at 30, 37-40. Wolf going quickly. The suspenders for Jason Swan. Swanee over the glove of Cox at short. Hussein comes home to score. Party Edibles have now played it two in the top of the seventh, and there are still no outs, and it's time to do it. Everybody can do it. Do the it, easiest it, dance move. Do, do it! It's much more fun to do it than to not. Do it. it is much more fun to do it than to not. Hampton, the lefty, to Crosby, who steps on first base, throws home. Tag is not there! Safe! Another run for the party animals. Crosby could have gone home with it, and they still likely would have had time for the double play. Instead, he opted to tag his own bag. And now there's still two in scoring position. Bryson Bloomer, who had two home runs and six RBI yesterday for the party animals, gets hit in the back. Wolf. Struggling in the top of the seventh. Bloomer has been an on-base machine this weekend in Durham. His six RBI were a part of the whopping 14 runs these guys put up yesterday on their 19 hits. Takes hold of the plate. Skull to left field, deep to left field. Rack of the wall, it's off the video board. Skull just punched out a light on the Jumbotron at Durham Bulls Athletic Stadium. Oh, wow. Skull broke the scoreboard. Wind is blowing out to left. It carried off the wall. And here, the wall is the scoreboard. And Matt Wolf exits the game. Austin Krasminski has come in. Tyler Gillum and Adam Byron had seen enough. Five runs and just one out to show for it. Now Dalton Cornett. Can Krem get him out of the situation? Gets Cornett to sky one off the tail light of a white Nissan Maxima Arkansas Plates. DC three. High to center field. Ball is carrying toward the wall. Catch is secured. And everybody stays put. Bloomer sits at second base. Skoll stands off at of first. Chase Acuff, the play. Certainly seems as though after putting up a five spot here, the party animals will tie the game at two points apiece going into the eighth. What was that thing about cart before the horse? The ball popped into right. Sky popped. Whatever you will. And we have gotten through the top of the seventh inning with Eric Jones Jr., Reese Alexiades, and Rack do up. Let's see. I think we've got ourselves a friend down here on the field who, uh, See if you can out dash the flash. The baseball's right. I can't. I gotta bring the soup coolers out. Uh, out cool soup. Let's hear it from Flash. I got, got a cool soup. I got my money on you, little lemon drop. Uh oh, let's hear it from Flash. Oh, we've got you. And Biko. All right, Biko, Flash. Cool soup, up I in. normally blow on it. Yep. <laughs> Just like that. We soup cooling all the way around. All right. I've got my money on you, little lemon drop. Lemon drop's about to ride out. <laughs> Oh, oh, this isn't good. Oh, this guy's cooked. This isn't good. Yep. Look out, buddy, look out. He's at seven seconds around second base. Now he's in third base, ten seconds. Malachi coming home. And that is 14.37 seconds around the base end. I don't think the contestant understood that he was supposed to run the whole time. He got into first base and stopped. Like, I'm safe. We're good, guys. I made it. 
That's a good flash. Flash beat him by 120 feet. That's the least competitive one of those we've seen all year. Now let's give you a little bit of Garrett DeClue action on the mound. You see a big smile from Flash the Kid, Malachi Mitchell, who could not be outdashed. Now Eric Jones Jr. to the plate. Changed his walk-up song to Mr. Jones a while ago. I kind of like the new one. Once again, the party animal scored five. And a, whoa! Backflip. Whoa! Foul ball. Five at the top of the seven. DeClue needs three outs while only giving up four. EJ. Fouled in the bullpen into the club of Big Butter, Connor Higgins. Butter's out there warming up as we speak. I'd like to know how you, it's hot enough, it's just tough to you know, like be Butter in this heat. Oh, DeClue, it's getting tricky. Disorients himself, throws a tad outside. One, two. Broken back. Faber, chance for a trick play. Bobbles it. And uh, oh, uh -huh. I don't know if even Faber knows what just happened there. Yeah, you can see him, speaking of butter, on the fingers. Trick play before the horse. Still had time. <laughs> it almost looks so gracefully purposeful. Reese Alexiotis. Takes a ball. The clue. Checks the runner at first, and oh, that's just low. DC 3 1 of the call. Reason Matic 3 15. Got himself seven ribbies on the year. Oh, yeah. 3 0 from Garrett. Late ball for sprint call. On a pitch that looked pretty darn good to me. Producer Pimp, what does the chat say here in the seventh inning of a two to one bananas lead? We have Tom Brady is faster than that. It's not me. That's pretty good. Melinda says, let's go to Clue. You know, DeClue's one of those guys who's been the butt of a couple jokes over the course of the year. He's got an a all star, stellar personality. Takes everything in stride. And here he is with uh, opportunity for a double play if he can get back to ground into one. Can't find the zone there. Leanne makes a great point. Another broken bat. They're mowing through bats today. So, one of the broken bats that we saw, thank you, Jake Skoll, was uh, more due to frustration than the banana ball itself. takes out count is even at 2-2 the pace of the game has slowed down there's still plenty of time to get a full nine innings in three balls two strikes Matt says what's up guys didn't know y'all's team had a broadcast first time here well, Matt, this is everybody's first time here congratulations my guy there we go called strike three rack was walking to first base and Garrett DeClue had cut him down. Easy Guy says his first live stream. Everybody, this is the first ever live stream. It would make sense how it is your first with us as well. Andrew asks if he can backflip more than DR. Your boy wants a fit check. I don't know if he can backflip more than DR, but you sure can get a fit check. Thank you, producer Pimp. Today I have a brand new coat on. So this is the first time rolling it out. It's got ice all over it. Not literal water ice, but the beautiful beverage that Sean Fluke induced upon me earlier in the game. 2-1. DeClue is a grounder to Baber away. Tying the game at two points apiece. Getting banana ball. Every inning counts. Runs do not earn you. An actual advantage in the game score. You have to win an inning and get a point. 
Bannons have done that twice as you see the party animals once. Ball for a sprint. Jones will come home. Crosby at first. Reese Alexiatis stands 90 feet away. It would take a bloop and a blast. The nine hole, Jackson Olsen. Followed up by the 10 hole, Ryan Cox. Bananas are still in need of a lot of help. Down five to one in this inning. Olsen, the lefty, takes a strike. With every lefty, it's always advised that I uh, crouch under the table. Because this being the first ever dugout broadcast in sports, foul ball opportunity for a fan is unsuccessful. This being the first dugout broadcast in sports history, on YouTube that is. Last night we were on Valley Live Stadium. And in that case, a foul ball couldn't take my head off at any point in time. Michael Deep tried two nights ago. 0-2. Garrett just throw a strike. You got it, big guy. With runners on the corners of the bananas. Olsen takes high and out. Decludes 1-2. Checks off Crosby at first. Can't find it. Gets a word of encouragement from Ryan Rodriguez over here. There's a swing and a miss. DeClue, strikeout number two in the half inning. Oh, no. And now to the plate, the world's tallest hitter, Dakota Stilts Albright. Some white pasty legs, huh? Stilts, his first walk-off hit came last weekend. Batting 143 with his funky wonky strike zone. Stilts. Base hit in the left field. He's fired up about it. Waves up the crowd, gets him going, and now it's DR Meadows. Bananas have put up their second run in the seventh. 5 2 now. DR rep represents the tie, <laughs> still just the tying run for the half inning. Peppers a foul ball off our camera guy. Take low for a 1 1 count. The two outs that the clue has secured in the half inning have both been via the strikeout. Neither the bananas nor the party animals hit a long ball today. And that's the first thing that comes to your mind with two on the pond, tying run at the plate. The party animals had two at night one here in Durham. That was Friday. And two off the bat of Bryce Bloomer last night for Saturday. 3 1. The clue needing a strike. Puts it there. It's fouled. Off the left tail light of a white Nissan Maxima, Arkansas plate. Still to stay in the game to run off first base. Three balls, two strikes. Come on, Garrett. Do the strike thing. Payoff pitch from DeClue. And it misses. High. Ball four sprint. Stilts moves to second. Crosby comes around to score. DR at first. Stilts at second base. Gabe Howell to the plate. In fact, that Stilts is still in and running. Has given the party animals a boost here. Bananas today have scored now seven runs. Party animals have scored nine. High scoring game. 23 minutes left on the game clock. There needs to be at least one second on that clock for us to start the ninth inning. When we conclude the eighth. DeClue, 1-0. Garrett trying to find the zone. You got it, Garrett! 
2-0. All right, come on, Vince. 3-0, a ball four sprint would give Stilts the opportunity to move to third. That's what happens. Stilts touches third. He wants to go home. Stilts caught the party animals off guard, and he scores. Stilts caught the party animals off guard, and he scores. DeClue never checked him at second base. On the ball four sprint, Stilts gets two. And now it's five to four in the bottom of the seventh. Meadows, the tying run, is at third base. Dan Oberst at the plate. Takes a ball, great pitch from DeClue. Takes a, or a strike. One of the things that, of the two, that's the options. Dan batting 349. Great pitch, just high. 1-1. The clue is yet to check Meadows at third. Swing and a miss. This is a massive pitch here. One ball and two strikes to win the bottom. Take the point. 2-2. Two -two. To tie the game. The clue off the end of the bat and into right field. The inning is tied. What happened is the runner went and Dustin Baber moved over to cover second base. That is exactly where Dan Oberst put the ball, where Baber would have been. Soft contact, five to five, 10 runs combined have come across here. Michael Deeb takes a strike. Gabe Howells at third base. He would make this game three to one. Deeb. Fair ball. The Bananas played six runs in the bottom of the seventh inning. DeClue had two strikeouts in the frame. Blitz celebrates at home plate. And a crushing half inning for the party animals. This is usually the time, from a dugout perspective, that these guys flip the switch. What I mean by that is it goes less from, hey, let's party, good, happy, fun time, and more to a, uh, let's party, locked in time. What you'll see is everybody over here will have the gloss like I just they're, they're just tapped they're locked the approach is to the eighth and the ninth to win the most the party animals can do here is make the score three to two going into the night mathematically they cannot lead or be tied in that half inning as we take time here to salute the troops in Durham North Carolina thanking those who are Veterans or active military. The hometown heroes who come from Durham, Chapel Hill, all up and down Tobacco Road here. Honoring police officers. Honoring firefighters. Honoring nurses. EMS. And school teachers. We say thank you to those who have given us a spectacular three days. Ah, no, no, no! Night one, a party animals win. Night two, a party animals win. And it will take a wily comeback to do it at the Darty. Austin Krizminski is back out for the bananas. EJ throws down and Tanner Tinder Thomas steps up to the plate. Ah! Why do we keep doing that? I oh I thought the goal was not to see that guy. Crap. First pitch. Tanner could go. Says no. 
get him banana ball, you can steal first base at any point in time. Thomas had the option. Could have made it. Now Tanner puts one off the gear of Eric Jones. I think we should have put Thomas in the big butt. He does hit a lot better in the big butt. Swing and a foul tip. Tinder behind one, two. Come on. Come on. Tanner. Well hit in the left. Rack slides for the dramatic effect. And there's one down with Jordan Hussein to the plate. Hussein was out and about with us last night. Good dude. Houston native. Well, Cody Johnson brings to the plate. Producer Pimp. What's the chat say? Ball high. 1 0 from Krem. Hussein way ahead here. Matt says bananas. Boo. Hussein takes high. Kyle looks like the bad guy from Home Alone. Yes, he does. My eyes keep burning, says Fastball Flakes, from the Vico jump scare. 100%. There's a base hit from Jordan Hussein. Animals really need a run here in the eighth. And really need three outs in the bottom frame. To take a point. 3-2 in the ninth to create a heck of a comeback to sweep Durham. And as you know, sweeps mean tarps off. It's still going. Why is it still going? Okay, we're good. We're good. Thanks, Shark. Baber. High and to right. Trick play opportunity. It's not seized upon. But Giannis makes the out. And it's Noah Fisher. The pride of Northern Kentucky. The Norse is the donut hitter, but has yet to strike out today. Speedy Hussein off of first. Fisher high. Right side. Crosby on his knees makes the catch. That concludes the top half of the eight. We go to the middle of the eighth inning. You see a replay there. No, that's not a trick play, right? Come on, guys. No chance for Brandon Crosby. Party animals are locked in. Princess Potassia and the young professor will have everyone sing my least favorite song, Yellow. You too? Yellow is by you too? I just don't. The lyrics aren't, they're just okay. Oh, Bruiser Pimp says Coldplay. Fine. And look at this. Why do they have their cameras on? Why are the lights on? There's a sun outside. You know, you do the you do the the lights during the night, and everybody sees it. It's all yellow, but it was all pink. Did you two have any songs about that pinkness? What is this song even about? It's not about the color yellow. Frustrating. There goes my sheet again. Drop your paper. Thank you, Ryan. All right, Brett, what do the guys have to do? This song's about loving a girl. Brett, what is this? Uh, why is this? this song's not very good. Nope, I don't like it. All right. Never have, never will. Um, I'm having a bad day, but then I see the sky lit up for yellow. It just makes it so much I just think it's so silly that they all have their lights out. <laughs> the sun's out right now. We can clearly see everything. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for the help, the optic help. Uh, Brett, at a three to one score here, hopefully that stays the score going into the ninth. Yep. Aside from the obvious score more runs slash points, what do the guys have to do? Well, we know who we're gonna get. We're gonna get Danny Do It All Hosley. Yes, which is, and he's good. You're gonna see, the guy doesn't throw very good strikes. So the best thing we can do is just swing Hold at on. strikes. Yeah. The dude throws changes and curveballs out of the zone. 
and we like to chase. So we need to go up there, be selective, get our pitch, because he's going to keep throwing the nasty, and you can't hit a ball that's not a strike. Remember that one time that Connor Higgins almost cut his entire finger off? I do, and I'm glad that's over now so we can watch him throw gas right by everybody. He does. Th have you seen his last couple outings, like 95? The boy got some cheddar biscuits. Touch of mid nines, man. Pretty sick. I was told, ah, ah, ah. That's illegal in 48 states. Yeah, when you throw 95, you can get into swinging sliders on the plate because it's coming in there. A little bender? You would know you were at 94 yesterday or two days ago whenever you were out there. Was I really? No, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, it was way harder, wasn't it? What's, yeah, 98, <laughs> upper nines. Um, Durham, North Carolina, how do you describe the weekend? It's been amazing. This is such a, a historic place. place. Everyone knows Durham. Everyone knows the Bulls. So getting to come here and play, amazing stadium. The surface is perfect. It looks cool. The city's awesome. This place rocks. There used to be a functional video board in left field, but Jake Skoll took out one of the tiles. Did you see that? Lammy. Oh, my goodness. Did you not see that? Yeah, the one on the far right there? Yeah. He is blacked out. He hit the scoreboard. That's awesome. Imagine being a guy who broke the video board at the home of the Durham Bulls. If you had to put us all in a lineup and say which guy broke that tile, I'd probably pick him, though. Yeah. Feels like a very, he has broken both a tile and a bat today. <laughs> An aggressive day from Jake Skull. He's going to get up this inning. Yeah. For us to win, he's going to. Oh, got a guy. And. Oh! Yeah, we can. Reese Hampton. That was, that was close enough. Reese is good in the center fielder. Uh, describe me this. This is something I've always wondered. Feels like these points in the game, right, when team's down or there's been, you know, like that, the rough spot there in the seventh, but it goes from loose vibes, kind of locked in, tapped in, accountable, if you will. Yeah. When does that switch flip? Well, it's kind of when it needs to happen and when it doesn't happen. I think it needed to happen in the sixth when yeah. it was like, all right, we can be winning this ball game. Let's go ahead and put it away. We really didn't. And then once it's a little bit too late and you're like, oh, we need to lock in right now, it's yeah. kind of like we should have done Got it earlier. So um, it should have happened in the sixth. The seventh should have been a breeze. You know, we put up a ton of runs. And, and I think a little bit that pressure too early is saying a couple guys on. Who cares? We were up five. So we should have just let it right. rock, had some fun, threw some strikes, and let them get out of it. But Brett Duck racks the plate. Oh, yeah. This is our guy to come right at our area. There's no telling what's going to happen. No telling. Lefty on lefty, really hard thrower. Late that. Oh, check swing. There we go. Ah, trick play. Connor Higgins. Count it. Absolutely. Oh, Brett, get some vibes. Thank you very much. Let's go to the final. We're going to put this out to the thing. We're going to swing at strikes here. Strikes only. Good deal. And we're going to hit them. You tell those guys that. I'm not going to swing at anything. Go, party animals. Thanks, Brad. It's time now. Point for the party animals. To go to the young Three professor. points for the Savannah Bananas. But, folks. Here is the thing about the game of banana ball. In this game during the final inning, every run counts for a point. That means the party animals can still threaten. They are as dangerous as ever. On the other hand, the Savannah Bananas just need three outs to lock down a victory. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise and welcome to the final inning. comes down to this in Durham, North Carolina. The first Party Animals dugout broadcast on YouTube ever. And we bring you to the ninth. The score, Party Animals one, Bananas three. Nine hits for those in pink and black. Eight for the boys in yellow. After an onslaught of 14 runs on 19 hits yesterday, the party animals have put up nine runs in this game, but have just one point to show from it, specifically after putting up five in the top of the seventh and allowing six in the bottom half of the inning. You see this guy? I wonder, is he for hire? That's insane. Have that at your birthday party. Yeah. Talk of the town. Jason Swan will face Danny Hosley. Do it all. The closer of the bananas is allowed 15 hits in his 18 innings. Tosses ball for a sprint sparingly. And Vince won't give him a gift. 1-0 to Swan. Check swing. Foul. 
him, the producer, what say the chat? Rahel's back. Also, I forgot to show you guys after I donated my chest here yesterday. Swan. Now, I don't need a jersey anymore because it shows. Yeah. Down Number for 10. a base hit. There we go. He swung in a strike. We got the strike. Now we have a base runner. Number 10. Don't even need a jersey. This is all you need. You put a 10, you shaved a 10 into your chest? That's so good. <laughs> Thanks. Do it. Now do it. Reese Hampton. The tying point at the plate. Party animals with a blast here would make it three to three. Is that supposed to say that or is that supposed to be unspoken? What are the rules of banana ball? What's the other, are there jinxes in banana ball? Hampton takes inside. Sorry, we're gonna give you guys the crotch shot because I'm nervous. It's actually what they called me in high school. Oh, here comes crotch shot. I embraced it. Osley. That's a ball for a sprint. Hampton at first. It's ball home to third. It's Bryson Bloomer who had two home runs yesterday at the plate to face the hard throwing Hosley. Tell your wife, tell your kids, tell your husband and your uncle, your aunt and your friends, live on the Party Animals YouTube page, the alternate broadcast. There's a chance for Mike Baba Vavace's squad to put together an improbable comeback and sweep Durham. Most of the guys here have taken their tarps off. High into right field, foul territory, there's no room. Bloomer stays alive. Count is still at 0-2. Search bomb number three in game number three of Durham. O2 to Bloomer. With the tarps off the animals. Good fight from Bloomer. Five minutes left. On the clock, we'll complete the ninth. But the party animals need at least two runs to stay alive and send it to showdown. Bloomer pops it up, foul territory. Catch is made by Crosby. The bananas tag first base and get Hampton out. Why didn't Hampton stay at first? Reese Hampton lost his train of thought. Lost track of what was going on. Crosby caught it in foul territory. Hampton was just standing in between first and second base. Now it's Jake Skoll. Final opportunity for the party animal to tie it. He's got one bomb on the weekend. Four on the year. He chases. A ball and a strike. Skull. Swing and a miss. 10,000 on their feet in Durham. Jake lays off. Former minor leaguer in the Texas Rangers organization. Skull, swing and a miss. The Animals had runners at first and third with nobody out in the ninth. But a double play on a base running mistake ends the game. As Jake Stoll strikes out against Hosley, I can tell you who didn't strike out. My friend, producer Pimp, the entire staff at Party Animals Network, Pan, yours truly.
And the big thank you that I want to give, that we want to give, as party animals to all of you who, when given the option to watch the Bananas broadcast or the Party Animals broadcast, you stuck it right here. When you watch the Red Sox, the Yankees, you pick your favorite announcer for your favorite team. You go watch the Red Sox because you like the Red Sox. You go watch the Yankees because that's who you're rooting for. And here, if you're a party animal, and a lot of you are, there are a lot of Bananas fans who are closeted party animals. I know this is where you want to be, and this is where you want to see the boys win, which is what they did twice to take Durham this weekend, last night on Valley Live at Stadium, today on YouTube for the Darty. One win for the Bananas here in North Carolina. Two of those come home with the, I think we're coming back to North Carolina. Greenville? That's South Carolina. Greensboro. One of those is in North Carolina, and we will be there for Party, Line, Party Animals headliner games later on this season. Final score, Bananas three, Party Animals one. The Animals struck first in the third inning, but lost the fifth, the sixth, and the seventh and just couldn't quite recover in the end. From Pam to Sean Fluke, icing me with this leader, leader. It has been an unbelievable day spending it with you. For our producer, Clay Pim, our director savant, Chad Reese, to Nick Keldy, to Jesse Cole, Carrie Cole and Emily Cole, and Brett Helton, who saved his chest. All the antics this weekend. Thanks for joining along with us. I'm Drake Toll. Saying, as always, good day and party on.